Tony John here at the very red and quite dark Steinberg booth. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you with my light. <laughs> it's okay. But, um, Dorico SE, that's a new version, right? Yes, yes. So uh, we're, today we're announcing Dorico 3.1, which is an update for all uh, existing Dorico users. It's a free update for all Dorico 3 users. Um, and also, also at the same time, while well, we also had Dorico Elements before, which is a 12-player limit, uh, we also now have a free, completely free, Dorico SE, which is, uh, stands for Starter Edition. So in Dorico SE, for example, if you uh, start a new project in here, what you'll find is you can, uh, you can add players. The interface is very similar, as you'd expect. Um, but when you're adding players in here, you can do... The idea is it's kind of piano and soloist type idea. So if you're adding things and saying, you know, you wanted a soprano or a, just a lead singer, that kind of thing, then you can do uh, this kind of thing. The interface... Is, as I said, it's, it's very similar to you had before. So you've got uh, write mode and play mode and print mode. Similar to elements, there's no engrave mode in this because actually for doing lead sheets and for uh, this kind of work, you probably don't need it. It's probably speed is important uh, and, uh, and getting the, the, the music out is important and you can use all of the Dorico uh, default preferences for that so that you, uh, you can write the music that you need for the lead sheets. So for example, in a pre-existing lead sheet, uh, like, you know, if you're doing a you know, giant steps jazz type thing, um, you know, all of this type of stuff for solo players and your chord symbols and all of that kind of thing, um, you, you can get all of that. All the functionality, as I said, is the same. So actually, if you're also thinking about maybe, you know, should I have a look at Dorico, this isn't time limited. So you can use Dorico SE as long as you like. So it's just free, right? It's a free, completely free version. So go to dorico.com, you can download this free version and, uh, and have a look at it. Um, yeah, and there's loads of tutorial videos. We've released some new videos as well, specifically for SE and how to get started in it and, uh, you know, and that kind of thing. Because a lot of people will have used notation software before and kind of have pre you know, uh, notions about how things will potentially work from other programs, and it will walk you through so all those in the videos. Will, will Dorico actually give you kind of real-time MIDI input? So you can yeah, yeah, all the real-time MIDI input, so you can play in from live from a keyboard if you want to, exactly the same as, as Pro. Um, the, basically, the difference is that all of the tweakability options and the kind of orchestral options, so using more instruments and more players and that kind of thing, that's what you'd need Pro for. And so um, how many lines is it limited to? This is just limited to two players. Ah, ah, two players. So Because we, uh, we have players, and players can double. So actually, if you've got a clarinetist doubling on a saxophone, that isn't, that's just one player. And so you can still have a pianist alongside it and that kind of thing. So it's a two-player limit. They can both be polyphonic as well, which is right. Yeah, they can both be polyphonic and all unlimited voices and all that kind of stuff that we, we have in the, in the other versions as well. Uh, the, also, what's quite useful is that if you have a full orchestral score and you open it in SE, then what you'll find is that it's a read-only mode so that you can still read your files so, and you can still transfer files to other people. So you can say, here's this score with actually more than two players, but... Um, you just don't get the options to edit it, but you can still print it. So you can send a file to somebody and they can still print the parts that they need ah, from so it. So quite useful using, for... It, yeah, it is for really, actually, it's a really handy little version, yeah. And it's all completely free. Available now, right? Available now. Thank you very much.